I wanted to share with you my labor signs. I was looking through my phone and I saw that I had my 39 week update notes in there which I planned on doing on a Tuesday and my water broke at 11.30 Monday night. So I never got to do that update but I had some notes and I realized a lot of these were labor signs and when you're in those last couple weeks I know that you're just like dying to know like is this a sign is this a sign when is she coming when is he coming she in our case which she's right here my water broke 11 30 on monday night i'm pretty sure it was 11 30 and sunday afternoon we had family over for a cookout and i told them i said i'm pretty sure she's coming in the next day or two um i don't know why i knew i think it's instinct but i think the major sign or labor sign that gave it away was because I felt pressure down there so I guess that means she had dropped and um, which I didn't look like I'll put a picture in here this was the day of that cookout I didn't feel like she was low and I didn't really know what that meant and her head had been down for I think six or eight weeks at that point I just really felt a lot of pressure and um, I guess she was just down on that cervix, ready to come out. She is a crazy wiggly baby. She was inside of me and she continues to be outside. And um, I guess, I'm guessing that is the reason that my water broke. I think only 10% of women, their water breaks before they have any contractions. So the signs right before my water broke, which I think it's in my labor and delivery vlog, which I'll put here if you're interested in that. The signs were, um, she, I felt her moving a lot, like, and it was in a different way. And I was just feeling weird. And I was laying in bed on my side, maybe it was 1230. I can't remember if it was 1130 or 1230, it doesn't matter. And I felt leaking fluid and it didn't feel like I peed at all and I went down there and smelled because if your water leaks it doesn't or if your water breaks it doesn't smell like anything and it didn't smell like urine so I kind of knew and my husband was sleeping next to me and I woke him up and I was like I think my water broke <laughs> it was like in the movies it was crazy so those were the big signs for the water breaking really was just her crazy movement it was like she was like ju -ju 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 back and forth which is probably what broke it I don't know I guess maybe her head so low I don't think anyone knows I did read somewhere that hormones are released right before you go into labor and I've never really had a big issue with acne like I would just get like a pimple sometimes when I got my period and I broke out on my chin um, so that could have been a sign. My nose got wide, I'm pretty sure. My sister thought so too. If you look at my videos bef right before, I feel like the bridge of my nose got wide. I don't know if that has anything to do, but um, the other thing was my cats were being really clingy. My cats just wanted to snuggle, so they say like animals know as well. So they were more snuggly than normal. So that was pretty much it for my labor signs. I think the big one really was her head was so low and putting pressure down there and that's what I felt. And I think that's when I knew like she was on her way. So it's a quick video, thanks for watching and let me know in the comments below like what your labor signs were right before you went into labor. If you had any similar ones or any unique ones um, I would love to hear it and I know anyone watching the video it would be fun to see any other signs that other people had because every pregnancy is so different and it really is a mystery like when you go into labor. <laughs> She's making little oohs and ahs. Do you want to wake up baby? <laughs> She's, not, She's wiggling and kicking right now. <laughs> Hi Nancy, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for watching. Yeah. She's a good girl. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.